Good afternoon, guys. I'm starting the vlog off really, really late today. Actually, it's almost four o'clock, but we are going to be putting together this little drawer um, situation that we got for our bedroom. Let me show you what we have right now. Okay, so this is what we have going on right now. It's kind of like right by our door, obviously. We have this little neck deep poster hanging up. But um, these drawers literally are falling apart. Literally, like I can't even like hardly open them without them threatening to completely collapse. So it's been a good run, but I really wouldn't recommend getting any kind of Amazon furniture because it just really didn't last long at all, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Persephone literally has like a little cap in her mouth right now that she was just carrying. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I really don't recommend Amazon furniture since it just kind of collapsed so quickly. So everything that's in here, there's, it's pretty much empty, honestly, but what I really want to put here is some kind of drawer organization so that I can organize all of my photo shoot props, extra makeup that I have, um, extra hair care products, things like that that are just kind of like sitting on my desk over there collecting dust. So Matt and I are gonna put the new one together. This is the new one we got. It is from Overstock. It's literally just a um, six drawer plus two wide drawers. So this is the one that it actually looks like. Um, I think it's gonna be really great because it'll have six like narrow drawers and then two really big ones for bigger items. So yeah, I think it'll work out a lot better than what we have anyway. So I'm excited to put it together. Persephone really wants attention right now. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna put it together and see how it looks. I know the way that you think about me, but I don't wanna know the truth. I hear the things that they say about me But I don't want to know the truth Don't you ever want to run away Don't you ever want to walk away Don't you ever want to leave this place Cause I need you when the day's gone and I would change, I would change for you I would break, I'd break these walls too And I would change, I would change just for you Change, I would change for you, and I would break. I break these walls soon. I would change, I would change just for you. I can't get you out of my mind. Okay, so the drawers have been built. Let me show you. So we have this here that has been built. It looks nice and ready to go. So now we're going to set it up in the room. The fire seemed to fade, and I know we're hanging on to something that so easily could break. Don't you ever want to run away? Don't you ever want to walk away? Don't you ever want so here is the finished look. I feel like it looks kind of funny in this room with um, like the gray walls and everything, but eventually when Matt and I move out, we want to go to more of like a light wood type of theme in our house. We wouldn't want to have to like rebuy something else, especially if this does hold up. These two drawers are literally just um, like extra makeup palettes and things like that that I really don't grab very often. I'm probably going to declutter some of these very soon because I just don't use them. Um, as much anymore since I really don't wear a lot of makeup and I think someone else could probably put better use to them And here is just <laughs> some junk like I have like little light bulbs because I have some string lights somewhere These are some props like I have some fishing line some balloons uh, measuring tape um, These are feathers from an upcoming shoot that I did here's some temporary tattoos in the back things like that um, Here are some more props for other shoots that are upcoming or that I've already done um, I just like to keep like like little headbands and things like that. Um, these are like little flower crowns. In here is all of my seasonal stuff. So I have like some fake lemons and like a beach bag, some fake peaches. I have like fake leaves in the back over here. And then in the last drawer is a bunch of beanies that um, I like to use for winter. And then I have like some slippers in here that I like to wear around the house. I really like how it turned out. I do wish that the drawers were a little bit bigger and I was definitely expecting them to be a lot wider than they are. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that. It's already just made it so much better of a difference um, in terms of our organization because like I said before, the only usable drawers in that previous one that we had 
were pretty much falling off. So I do really like how this came out. I'm going to be organizing my car situation tomorrow. Um, basically, I like to treat my car as my workplace because a lot of the time I have like a ton of props just shoved in there and ready to be used. Um, but I actually wasn't able to use my trunk for the last two years because I backed into a boat. Yeah. I, it wasn't usable for the past two years and my back seat has just been full of like all of these like random props and fake flowers and things like that my car essentially turned into like a two-person vehicle even though it's a four-door vehicle so tomorrow i think i'm going to tackle that and i'm going to organize everything and put it all in my trunk so that it's just a lot easier to grab um when i'm out doing like photos and things like that and also this way i just have my whole back seat usable for people to actually sit in my car you'll see what i'm talking about tomorrow but i'm really hungry so i'm gonna go make matt and i some dinner and i will see you guys tomorrow when I am organizing my car. Okay, you guys, so it is really bright out here right now and I am having such a hard time like being able to see. So I might not be looking at the camera, but basically um, my car is full of photo shoot props and because I hadn't been able to use my trunk for so long, they just accumulated in the back seat like I was explaining yesterday. So right now I'm going to actually pick up some food at the grocery store, but um, before I go, I kind of want to get my trunk situated and all of my props actually where they belong in the trunk. So I'll show you what we're working with. This is my car and this is what the back seat looks like. I know. It's really, really bad. So this is what my trunk is looking like right now. Um, literally, there's nothing in it. And there was a huge dent in the back of my trunk for literally like two years. So when I was opening my trunk, the latch was broken and it was having a really hard time actually closing. So that is why I really wasn't able to use it much. So I'm excited to just put things in my trunk that I'm going to be using for future photo shoots. The reason I wanna have all of my props in my car is because a lot of the time when I'm out taking photos, I have my own car. So if I forget or if I think about, you know, what kind of props I want to use, sometimes I can't always picture the full image that I actually want to capture in my head. So it just makes it so much easier to have most of my props in my car with me already so that if I want to add one, if something's not working, then it looks so much better and kind of makes it easier for me to not have to remember to pack every single prop I want to bring. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because I have to go pick up this food really soon and yeah. Cause I need you when the day's gone. I would change, I would change for you. I would break, I break these walls too. And I would change, I would change just for you. Okay, so here is the finished look. This is what the back seat looks like. So much better, clean and clear, which is great. Um, I obviously, like, I feel like I have to vacuum and stuff, maybe like shampoo the rugs and everything, but I'm really satisfied with how it came out for now. So here is what my trunk is looking like. I have my little uh, reflector here for photography. I have like some safe stuff like for my car if it were to break down I have like my jumper cables in here and my I think this is like a first aid kit and a just in case kit then I have some scrapers and stuff under here for the winter and that is very quickly approaching and then over here I have all of my props so I have all of my flowers back here I have like some little bags some seasonal things in this little cute basket this cute basket I also want to put my picnic basket in here too because that always makes a really great prop and it's always good to have as well. So then I have all of my hats and everything that are all like organized. This one actually at the bottom started to get kind of bleached. I don't know if you can see that it's like super discolored, but because I had left it in the backseat of my car for so long, it literally basically bleached itself which is great these look pretty good I'm really satisfied with how it came out like I said all right so that is going to be it for today's vlog I hope that you guys enjoyed it definitely give it a thumbs up and also hit subscribe and click the bell icon so that you never miss an upload if you haven't already if you guys missed all the Lake George vlogs I did mention in those videos that I would be vlogging a lot more with Matt just going forward on this channel 
So stay tuned for that if you guys enjoy vlogs. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So I hope that you guys are having a great day so far and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye! I know the way that you think about me But I don't wanna know the truth I hear the things that they say about me But I don't wanna know the truth